With her back being watched, Brianna was able to focus on what was important. So during the time that I was in jail, I did a lot of thinking and analyzing of my life. I definitely told myself that I don't ever want to get in trouble again. And being away from my son that long was hurtful and damaging to me. So with her release date came new goals. Once I get out of jail, I'm very optimistic with my future because um, I know that uh, my mindset has changed a lot. Everything was coming back together for Bree, but the good times were short-lived. My dad passed away from prostate cancer. My dad never really went to a doctor. So when he found out that he had cancer, it was already at stage four. Me and my dad's relationship is one of the most relationships that I cherish. Losing my dad was a, definitely a heartbreak. I missed him a lot. Then an unexpected phone call gave Bree an opportunity to make the world just a little bit better. I was like, Brianna, do you want to donate a kidney to my dad? Brianna said yes. No hesitation, didn't think about it, anything. And I was in shock. She couldn't save her own father, but she could help save someone else's. I'm the type where, like, if, if something needs to be done now, like, you know, if I can take care of the, the person now, then do it, you know? And I want to keep my dad's memory alive. So I decided to start giving back to, like, cancer nonprofit organizations. It's amazing. She has this innocent love for people, and she kept her word. God really sent me an angel. And the karma of giving back has come right back around. Brianna's future looks bright. She's exceeded at anything that she does, but not only does she exceed at doing things, she does it with compassion for others. Right now, I am in real estate school. I have a good job. I'm raising my kids and make sure that everything I do is done the right way. So use Brianna's story as a life lesson learned. Be careful what you chase, because in the blink of an eye, anyone can get caught up. And you don't want that. Trust. Hey, y'all. It's your boy, Caesar, Black Ink CEO. And if you don't know me, the reason why is you ain't subscribed to VH1 YouTube channel. At the end of the day, you already know. That's the number one channel on YouTube. And if you don't got it, I guess you just watch the number two.